Okay, hold tight. What is it, Nasha? Oi! was the very last piece they had. It's perfect! I'll have my dream kitchen at last! Oh, you haven't got far with the painting, though, have you? I'm taking extra special care, dear. You can't rush a good job, you know. Hmm. All right. I'll go and look for curtain rails. Bye! Whatever you do, don't let anything happen to that material. <laughs> of course not, dear. I'll guard it with me life. Shame about the kite, Nasha. But it wasn't big enough anyway. <laughs> no. What we need is a big sail so we can go really fast. <laughs> <laughs> to make a sail for me skateboard. Got any ideas? Why, <sighs> what? Hey! Can I use that? Uh, yeah. Cool! Thanks, Dad! Okay! So perfect, years, and now look at it, ruined! Um, I, I couldn't possibly have me sail back, could I? No, you can't. I'm confiscating it. It's a danger to public safety, and so are you! But you can't do that! It's not yours! Can't I? Watch me! No! Wait! Hello? Dennis, where are you? Are you bringing that material back? Yeah, I'll be right there, Dad. Just uh, um, having a chat with the Colonel. Oh, right, Nasha, this is getting serious. Well, might as well get some use out of it. I've always wanted a hammock. <laughs> Magnificent. That's well out of order. Right. Oh, 
surely he doesn't think I'm going to fall for that old trick. So, the little ruffian wants a battle of wits, does he? Well, he's going to find he's bitten off more than he can chew. He's so clever. Let's see how he copes with this. Come and get it now, if you dare. <laughs> he hasn't reckoned with your mighty munch power, has he, Nasha? <laughs> And I know how to get there without him seeing us. <laughs> have to stay calm. <laughs> stay calm. <laughs> breathe. Don't forget to breathe. <gasps> hmm. No sign of him. What's he up to, eh? We must be there. I can feel something. We'll have to get it out the way. Go on, Nasha. Do your stuff. <laughs> Find something to block it. Oh dear. Then, son? Oh no, not that one. What? I changed my mind. I thought we'd have this one instead. What do you think?
what, Nasha? We deserve a rest after such a hard day's work. Avoiding homework. Time for homework handing. Any second now. Avoiding chores. Dennis! Dennis! Your turn to mow the lawn! <laughs> and beating Walter to the last ice cream. Ice cream! Ice cream! Only one left! <laughs> Dan, look what my dad got us. Tickets to the premiere of Flat of the Palm 5 at the cinema tomorrow night. Starring Crank Power Up. Ha! 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 The greatest action hero of all time. Yeah, and even better, he's going to be there to meet his fans. Cool. I can't wait to show him his special move. Crank! Oh! <gasps> What's this? A canned pie? No, Den. It's a can of giggles. Just arrived today at Mr. Ha Ha's. Fantastic! Careful, Den. It's infectious. <laughs> nice one, Pie Face. I'm always up for a laugh. <laughs> but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Too much laughing. <laughs> Kung Fu! <laughs> Too much ice cream! <laughs> of whooping wallop I've ever heard. I know how to get rid of that. Tomato juice, a splash of milk, spoonful of mustard topped with a squeeze of sour lemon. Cross fingers that the Colonel's recipe works, B. Your aunties are visiting later and I've got to clean up. OK. I'll see if Mr Ha-Ha's got any ideas. Seeing as it was his can of giggles that caused the problem. 
could always get some more pies. That's no replacement for having Dennis around. Uh, why so miserable, boys? Having fun just isn't any fun without Dennis. And he's struck down with hiccups. Hiccups? No, oh, there's only one way to cure them, with a sudden fright. <laughs> Mr Ha Ha? <gasps> Problem. <gasps> Can of giggles! <laughs> Hiccups! Oh dear! Did you open the can in a confined space? <laughs> There's your problem! <laughs> that's not hiccups, that's giggle ups! You need this special supplement. <laughs> the Can of Giggles Guide to Curing Giggle Ups. <laughs> Cure number one balancing a pencil on your nose. Hmm, surely that's too easy. Not when it's the ha ha mega jumbo pencil. Mr. Ha Ha's right. This is pretty tricky. So, we sneak up behind Dennis with this balloon and kaboom! <laughs> what are you two up to? Oh, uh, what? nothing. Nothing. Cure number 23. Shout as loud as you possibly can. <gasps> oh, how would Krang Power Up do this? Krang! <gasps> For goodness sake, Dennis, go to the park where we can't hear you. All right, I will. I know and I'm not <clears throat> wanted. <gasps> Looks like they're going to the park. Come on, I know a shortcut. He should be good enough. He's coming. Ready? <gasps> Crang! Oh! <laughs> now what? Oh, 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 nothing. No, just having a laugh. <laughs> just messing about, you know. Guys, I'm trying to cure me hiccups. <gasps> and you're not helping. <gasps> <gasps> The camouflage. Wow, pie face. How did you do that? My sister taught me crochet when I was little. Cure number 79. <laughs> Quick, get ready to ambush. Hmm. Drinking water? There has to be more to it than that. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Result! <laughs> Curly, pie face, what are you playing at? It was your grand's idea. She said a sudden fright would cure your hiccups. No good, guys. I'm fearless, remember? But these cures don't work either. They're useless. At this rate, I'll miss the movie and I'll never get to show what crank power up my special move! Dennisy Wennessy! Our favourite little nephew! Oh. <laughs> 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 I knew what would give Dennis a real fright! Sloppy kisses from his loving aunties! <laughs> You were right, Gran. My hiccups have gone. I'm cured! Now I can go to the movie and meet Crank Power Up. Crank! Oh! Just like you did it in Crunch of Fists 3, Mr. Power Up. What do you think? Very good, Dennis. Perhaps one day you will follow in my footsteps. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, I know just the thing. Hello, Auntie Beryl, could you and Auntie Brunella pop down to the cinema? I've got a bit of a problem here and I think you're the ones who can sort it out for me. Down. 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 Hang on. 
on. What's this? Sold out? The Rat Bucket concert? It can't be sold out. Not anymore. <laughs> It's sold out. You let them in? But it was sold out, then it wasn't. Now it is again. OK. Oh, but it took us weeks to get the money. Yeah, it's hard work washing all those cars. I'm having to dirty them up first. <laughs> come on, I've got a plan. We didn't want to come in anyway. Huh? I thought we did. <laughs> we have come to cook fuzzy rockstar. Oh, straight through on your left. Yeah, result. Oh, am I glad to see you. Right, I need all this food picked up for the after-show party. But I'll let you back in when the concert's over, OK? Oh, through there. Is that Rat Bucket's legendary 25-string guitar? Oh, can I see? Oh. <laughs> Out! And don't come back! OK, not a tunnel, but, uh... Hey, you know the way sheep get everywhere? Well, if we got ourselves some giant sheepskins... Parky's on to us. We need something he can't argue with. Like I say, a sheep. Hello, boys. Look what I've got. Oh, hi, Athena. Two VIP backstage passes. <laughs> it pays to be Rat Bucket's daughter. Well, if you got two, who's the other one for? Miss Miniwoof, of course. Because she's a special wiggle person who likes her own special wiggle part. <coughs> anyway, must fly. Can't miss a minute. <coughs> See you, boys. One backstage pass, three people and a dog. <gasps> yeah, that'll work. This is backstage. Maybe we'll meet Rat Bucket. Calling feet, calling feet. Turn left. Left pie face. Pie face! Leave the food alone! I've got to keep the strength up, Dan. You're really heavy. We're trying to get to a concert, remember? Oh, he looks like someone important. <coughs> Hi. Ah! I'm Athena, my dad's rat bucket. Oh, uh, uh, Hi, Athena. <laughs> ah! No, 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 darling. It's <coughs> not polite. <coughs> <coughs> My tummy rumbling. I need to eat. Uh, right. Have a sausage. <coughs> oh, gross! <coughs> Great. Now we're a tall bloke with a dog's head. Huh, very convincing. That. You made it. Whoa. Like the new hair. <coughs> Quick, Nasha. Take these. <gasps> Rat Bucket, our local celebrity. Can I have your autograph? Uh, my wife's a great fan. Um, uh, uh, yes, you can. Sure. I'll sign this piece of paper with my left hand. Oh, 
Thank you. Now I need to go to my dressing room to, uh, dress. Wow! This is the real thing. Just... Just a minute. <laughs> the crowd's been waiting quite a long time, that. I'd like some more food first. Oh, OK. Those pies are nice. You OK, Rat? Your voice sounds a bit... Something for your throat? Uh, no pies would be good. <laughs> oh, we haven't got time for pies, Pie Face. we got to get out of here. Daddy, hi. Hmm? I'm hungry. I need you to buy me some caviar. <laughs> That's not very polite. Just when Daddy's going to give us some money. Aren't you, Daddy? <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Athena's talking. Oh, Daddy, can we go Athena <laughs> have some money? Is it? But you always give me money. <gasps> You're not my dad. You're an imposter. Security! Quick, now's our chance. <laughs> You're needed on stage, Rat. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, but I'm the real Rat Bucket. I was delayed, man. Get my daughter Athena. She'll tell you. Huh. She's the one who told us there was an imposter about. <laughs> Real rat bucket. <laughs> I spotted you a mile off, mate. <laughs> You're not tall enough for a start. The band haven't turned up. You're going to have to do a solo gig. Rat bucket! Rat bucket! Rat bucket! Uh, 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 just caught the imposter. Uh, of course, he didn't have your star quality. That's him, is it? I'll give him a piece of my mind. How dare you? I'm sorry, Mr Ratbucket. It was stupid to pretend we were you. Consider yourself lucky I don't sue you. I'll tell you what. If you can get me in, you can be my personal guests for the gig. Oh, there you go, Mr. Rat Bucket, sir. Ooh, he's even taller than I thought. And then they pelted us with fruit. Oh, I love it when they do that. <laughs> <gasps> now, where's my band? They haven't turned up. Oh, man, they're always doing that. Hey, you don't know anyone who happens to play, do you? Uh, we play, but we're not very good. We know all your albums. Uh, but we can't sing. Yeah, everyone thinks we're rubbish, but we're really loud. Hang on, not very good. Can't sing. Really loud. Sounds perfect. <laughs> Hello, Beano Town! Please welcome Beano Town's loudest band, the Din Makers! <laughs> Oh! <laughs>
<laughs> Steady on! It's not our fault, Mum. There's stuff everywhere. What's going on here? <coughs> We're having a spring clean. Oh, good. Then perhaps you can help me find my teapot. I think I left it here last time. All right, Gran. Dennis, you can fill this box with stuff for the charity shop. But it's Saturday! And after that, tidy your room. You two, go on. Oh. There's stuff here I haven't looked at for ages. Magnifying glass, sunglasses, notebook, old brown coat. <laughs> How to crack crimes and solve mysteries. <laughs> The mystery is why I bought the book in the first place. How to solve mysteries? Cool. There. Oh, now for a sit down and a nice cup of tea. Oh, yes. Did you find my teapot? But you can't miss it. It's bright red. Oh, I think I might have put it in the charity box out the back. What are you up to? Nothing for you to worry about, sweet cheeks. Oh. oh, where's my teapot? It's a mystery. A mystery, eh? Sounds like a job for Dennis P.I. He what? A private investigator. Here to solve the mystery of the missing teapot. This afternoon, I'm supposed to be having tea with a gentleman I haven't seen for 36 years. Oh, and I really need this particular teapot. Well, I'd say there's a good chance your teapot has been swiped, snaffled, stolen! <coughs> Do you have anything that might help us pick up the scent? What about this old tea bag? Aha! Perfect! Hop a whiff of that natural, pal, and she, if you can, sniff out the culprit. <laughs> to the treehouse! <laughs> Who keeps doing that? Right, that's warmed us up. Ready for the Colonel's tea party. <laughs> Nice work, Nasha. Looks like the trail might end right here. So that's what Nasha was after. Hey, that's my pie. But you can see everything from up here. Pie face, have you seen anyone with a red teapot? What was it like again? You know, like... And red. Oh, yeah. I saw someone with one of those. And what did this person look like? Well, it was a boy with black hair, uh, shorts and a big smile. That can't be right. You're describing me. Uh, OK. Uh, he had tidy hair uh, and glasses. Oh, and a bow tie. <laughs> I think we found our thief. Tom ti tom tom tra <laughs> Aha! Hand over the teapot, Walter. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, I know you've got it. Dennis, hang on. You're going about this all the wrong way. Thank goodness one of you is making sense. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Teapot Rustler, where's the loot? If you don't tell us, the flower gets it. Right, Nipper? <laughs> teapot? Loot? I don't understand. Don't play the fool with me. A reliable witness claims to have seen you with my best red teapot. Uh, Gran? Ah, here, boy. <laughs> if it's a teapot you're looking for, Mrs. Creature has a vast collection. <laughs> ah, this is the life. Nice and quiet. A pot of tea and no... Dennis! What are you 
doing in school on a Saturday? I might ask you the same question. Teaching doesn't recognise weekends. Is that right? So what can you teach me about this teapot? That? Oh, it's nothing. Just a teapot. Hmm. Could be a respray job. Whoopsie. No! OK, OK. It's my second best teapot. That's all. Second best? You have more than one? Sure. I've got lots of teapots. Oh. We're not just looking for any teapot. We're looking for... <coughs> one like this. <coughs> this is not my teapot. No, but that's my steak. Why would anyone keep a steak in a teapot? Oh, it was frozen. I put it in there to thaw out. But if you've lost a teapot, try the Colonel. He's having a big tea party. Thanks, Dollface. But you're not out of the frame until we found our teapot. So don't even think about doing a runner and leaving town. I mean, thanks, Mrs. Creature. Sorry, you can't come in here uh, to Colonel's orders. No, Dennis. Oh, come on. Since when did you take orders from the Colonel? Well, ever since he promised me a slap-up tea. Dainty sandwiches cut up all nice, cream slice, lemon drizzle cake, sticky buns with sprinkles. Oh, no, you don't. But I'm an investigator. We're on the same side. Solving mysteries, busting crooks, enforcing the law. No, Dennis. That's the law. And, and, and definitely no dogs. <laughs> Good afternoon, Sergeant. Oh, you do look well today. Oh, why, uh, thank you. Uh, I might say the same about you. <laughs> oh, splendid hat, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I'll be sure to save a bun or three for you, Sergeant. <laughs> Five, four, three, two... <laughs> one! <laughs> oh, all that dog of yours sniffed out with some sausages. But no teapot. That's right, no teapot. Then we're all out of clues. Nothing else to do but go back and re-examine the crime scene. So, what about your tea date? Oh, I guess I'll just have to keep him waiting for another 36 years. No way! We have to get to the bottom of this. Wait! Look! The teapot! The teapot! No! Hey, what are you doing? Oh, Gran! I'm really sorry! Oh, it's all right, Dennis. You see, it wasn't the teapot I was after. It was what was inside the teapot. <laughs> Choppers! <laughs> oh, just in time! Here comes my date! Hello, sweet cheeks! Oh, I can recognise that smile a mile away! Put over a beagle! Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis! Oh, you're a brilliant investigator! Sure has! Sweet cheeks! What happened to my lawn? Well, it all started with a missing teapot. Save it for when you've tidied your room, Dennis. Like I asked you to do this morning. Oh, parents! That's one mystery I'll never solve.
Oh. Well, Dennis, I think you got off quite lightly, considering. Let me see now. While setting the world speed record for three boys and a dog on one skateboard, you managed to terrify Walter and mess up his sweater. <laughs> flatten Parky Bowles' prize roses and turn yourselves into human pin cushions. Sorry, Mum. Well, I've calmed Parky and Walter down and I've offered to wash Walter's sweater. But be more careful in future, OK? Now run along, all of you. Thanks, Mum. And there's some chocolate chip cookies in the kitchen. <laughs> Your mum's so cool, Dennis. She's always standing up for you. Yeah, I bet you've got her something really great for Mother's Day, haven't you? Eh? Mother's Day? I made my mum a vase. Well, more of a pie dish, really. Curly, when is Mother's Day? Tomorrow, of course. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anything in the extra super emergency fund? How am I going to get Mum a Mother's Day gift? I know, she likes music. I'll write her a Mother's Day song. Let me see. Uh, yeah, Mum. Yeah, 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 Mum, you're so cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, you really rule. Any ideas? Uh, na, na, na. Brilliant! Yeah, Mum, you're so cool. Oh, yeah, you really rule. For goodness sake, Dennis, you'll wake B up. Stop that horrible racket at once. So she doesn't like music after all. Back to the drawing board. <gasps> the drawing board? Yeah. Curly, weren't you top of the class in Mrs Creature's last art test? Well, yes, but... Uh... a crick in me neck. Won't be much longer, then. You can't hurry art, you know. I quite like it. That's because it doesn't look like me. It looks like a pie. It's not my fault. Even Leonardo da Vinci couldn't paint properly if he was being attacked by fleas. I can't give it to me, Mum. We'll have to think of something else. Everything we need for cheesecake or a pie face. Your mum will love it. OK, let's get going. Yeah. Really good pie face. What now? We have to leave it to set. Put it on the shelves. Dennis! <laughs> ah, there you are. It's supper time, OK? Hmm, uh. pity. It would have been the best yet. about borrowing some flowers from the Colonel's garden. Forgot a gift for Mother's Day? Yeah. That's bad. Your dad always gets me something nice. So, when Dad was a boy, what would you have liked him to get you? <laughs> well, he was a bit of a menace too, you know. I'd have been happy if he'd just kept out of trouble. Of course! That's it! Gran, you're a genius! the trick. This will be a Mother's Day Mum will never forget. There you go, Mum. Happy Mother's Day. Oh! What's this, then? <laughs> oh! Wow! A way here games console! <laughs> and the latest game for it! Superbike GP Battle of the Champions! Oh! Thanks, son! See what it got me? Oh, he's such a good boy. 
Yes, he is. Happy Mother's Day, Mum! Tennis! How lovely! I didn't think you'd remember. Of course I did, Mum. And for your present, I'm going to stay out of trouble for a whole day! Well, that would be nice. Dennis, stay out of trouble? I'll believe it when I see it. Well, just stay in my room, OK? I can't get into any trouble there. Tell you what, Nasha, we'll just practice a few skateboard tricks. about Dennis. <laughs> good, good. Tell you what, best of three. You're on. of getting into trouble there. <laughs> this is cool, Nasha. A total trouble-free zone. <laughs> oh, no! The window! <laughs> oh, only just... Hey, Dennis! We're going fishing in the park. Want to come? Yeah! Great idea! A nice quiet afternoon's fishing in the park, Nasha. I mean, it's not like skateboarding, is it? What could possibly go wrong? Oh, hmm. Everything all right, dear? Still feeling relaxed? Mm, yes. Oh, almost too relaxed. Here goes! Hey, my hat! Hey. <laughs> Must be caught on a root or something. So then he said, "Pardon me, Al. Is that the car that you in your shoes?" Mister May, you're so witty. <laughs> Mum, how about you, dear? Have you enjoyed your day? Oh, yes. It's been so peaceful and quiet. Well, the day's nearly over, so you'd better brace yourself. Ah, Dennis. I'm guessing this is the end of Mother's Day, then. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Mum. Normal service has been resumed. Dennis. Yes. Now let's all just calm down. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. See, Curly, I 
told you Nasha had a hundred fleas. You owe me an ice cream. Oh. See you later, dear. <sighs> Can't you boys find something a bit more useful to do in the holidays? Like that nice Walter. Why? What's he doing? Good business by the look of it. Why not try today's special offer? Buy three muffins and get ten bonus points on your Walter Enterprises loyalty card. Oh, what a wonderful idea. What's your name, young man? <coughs> My card. Oh, how very, um, enterprising. Remember, the three golden rules of business. Number one, always look your best. Number two, always use pie charts. Did he say pies? Pie charts, pie face. And rule number three, the most important, always behave like a grown-up. Like a grown-up. Got it. Well, now, if you'll excuse me, I've been offered a very important position and I don't want to be late. <laughs> important position? What's he on about? Dennis, lunch. Oh, thanks, Mum. I'm starving. Not your lunch, silly. Dad's. He left it on the kitchen table. Could you be a love and take it to his office for him? Thanks. Huh. Ah, no. Oh, how did that get there? It should be in its proper place. Hi, Dad. I brought you lunch. And uh, this is the rubber band and paper clips department. Oh, no! It's Scrimp! He mustn't see you here! Quick! Ah, oh, what's his name? There you are. I'd like to introduce your new assistant. Say hello to Walter. Walter? He's here for the summer to learn the business. Rubber bands everywhere? Well, spotted lad, you're learning fast. Masha, don't! What's that noise? Uh, uh, my tummy. <laughs> I have a bit of uh, indigestion. <sighs> mm. Come on, Walter, I'll show you the canteen. How about some lemonade? Hmm? I prefer herbal tea, actually. Oh, yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, much healthier. <laughs> Your previous system of rubber band classification was extremely inefficient, so I've reorganised them according to length, colour and elasticity. There's really no need. I... I've also labelled things in the office so we know what's what and whose is whose. The thing is, what's his name? It's just more efficient this way. That's it. You're supposed to be my assistant. What's more, you will address me by my proper name. It's Mr... What's his name? What's going on, eh? Why all this shouting? Uh, sorry, Mr Scrimp. How's our young work experience lad doing, eh? Fine, Mr Scrimp. Just fine. <laughs> I knew it. I predict great things for you, Walter. Well, uh, carry on, what's his name? Come on, look lively. <coughs> Quality, elasticity, efficiency, herbal tea. <laughs> Can you believe it, Nasha? Walter's making Dad's life a misery. <laughs> well, tomorrow it'll be a different story, cos Dad will have us helping him out. My new roller clip storage system will revolutionise Dad's department. What? What's that doing there? Dennis, I thought I told you to... Don't worry, Dad. I'm helping. You can't help, Dennis. Not today. I'm giving a very important talk about efficiency. Trust me. I can be just as efficient as Walter. Look, I've fastened the paper clips together so you won't lose any. Thanks, Dennis, but where's the end of the chain? Walter, there you are. And um, I'd like you to meet Hiram Bigbacks, the head of our company. He's flown all the way from Texas to be with us for the talk. Heard a lot about you, son. 
Scrim tells me you got them rubber bands licked, huh? Yes, sir. What have you got there? Paperclip, sir. Some very silly person has fastened them all together. So I'm going to undo them again. <laughs> I like you, Walter. You remind me of myself as a boy. <laughs> I'll take that, thank you. Sorry, Mr. Scrimp, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. That does it! I've had it with you, what's-his-name. From now on, you can just empty the waste paper bins. But what about the presentation? I'm leaving that to my most efficient employee, Walter! You've got to get off me Dad's case, Walter. Sorry, Dennis. It's not my fault if your father is inefficient. Right, Nashi. This means war. My fellow executives, to save me Dad's job, we've got to fight Walter with useless... Uh, I mean, ruthless efficiency. My business plan comprises the latest marketing strategies, fiscal projections and profit indexes, and this leaky pen, hair gel, glasses and fake moustaches. Any questions? What's an executive? I'll tell you later. Menace and company, let's go to work. There goes Walter. Time to put phase one of our business plan into action. Nasha? Yes? Phase two will be carried out in the boardroom. Let's see how Walter handles a takeover bid. When Hiram Big Bucks hears my speech, he'll be so impressed, he'll probably give me Mr. Squimp's job! <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'll be talking about the global market, with particular reference to rubber bands and paper clips. Uh, you have a question? Yes. Would you agree with me that the first rule of business is always to look your best? Because if so, <laughs> I don't think you've looked in the mirror recently. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I was saying, to illustrate my points, I'm going to be using pie charts. Like this one. <laughs> oh, I think you've drawn your pie chart a bit too efficiently. <laughs> Someone's taken a bite out of it. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yes. Oh, sorry. Forget about the pie charts and talk about uh, elasticity. Hello? Yes, what now? I've heard it said that behaving like a grown up is the most important thing in business. Is that true? Yes, it is. And interrupting people is very childish. So could you please. <laughs> Skateboarding? That's not very grown up, is it, Walter? You! And now, phase three. Run for it, lads! <laughs> Get this dumb kid off me! Dennis, what have you done now? Uh, got you your job back. Oh, uh, sorry, Mr. Big Bucks. Oh, uh, if there's anything I can do... You can stop hiring boys to do a man's job! Yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, uh, what's his name? Where do you think you're going? There's work to do. Ah, it's great being in business. Pie face, take a letter. Dear Mum, can you hurry up with a lemonade and cake? Forget it, Dane. I think Pie face is in love. <laughs>